friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video I want to show FECO aspiration FECO aspiration means you can remove the lens matter just by aspiration that is using vacuum you don't need any ultrasonic energy you don't need emulsification of the lens matter to aspirate this I have taken up this posterior subcapsular cataract for surgery the rest of the lens matter is almost clear so this is a very soft cataract with posterior subcapsular opacity let us observe the surgery by this time the main incision on side port on the right side of the main incision has been made and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision and now capsular axis is to be done I use a 26 case disposable then needle to incise the lens and raise a flap then I use a iterator of horseships hold this capsular tag and I usually go anti-clockwise and do the rexis. Rexis means to tear you are just tearing off a portion of the anterior capsule and try to make this circular opening it may not be circular all the time but if you practice most of the time you will get a fairly round capsular axis and now hydro dissection is to be done fluid wave is passed as soon as the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator stop in such cases otherwise the whole thing will tend to come into the anterior chamber do hydrodelineation and in this case hydrodelineation has produced a golden ring the advantage is you will just remove the central portion at on go just aspirate it and the epinuclear shell will remain to protect the posterior capsule here it is go bevel down remain bevel down and try aspirating just you are applying some vacuum and you have seen the nucleus has come out that is the central portion has come out and this is the epinucleus this is real-time surgery totally unedited and see how quickly you have removed the lens matter that is the nucleus and epinucleus in this case nucleus is actually soft lens matter and now inject some viscoelastic substance this is 2% HPMC and use whatever you want I use most of the time this 23 gauze Simco cannula and see how beautifully you can remove it within few seconds yes with bimanual also you can remove it in few seconds but to get the bimanual ready you have to wait for about 10 to 12 seconds by this time half of the lens matter is removed and this is the sub incisional cortex it has come out little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule has been done and see how clean the posterior capsule is and now a foldable intraocular lens is to be placed in the capsular bag in this case a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been selected and here goes the intraocular lens this is actually it is called ultra sart from Elcon the leading haptic goes like this and the trailing haptic is folded you can place the trailing haptic by the left hand instrument in this way and now rotate the lens both the haptics should be in the capsular bag the trailing haptic is going into the equatorial part of the capsular bag and now the lens is nicely placed the optic is nicely covered all around by the anterior capsular rim which is very much desirable for proper centration 
of the lens the lens will never tilt if the periphery of the lens a small rim of the intraocular lens is covered by the anterior capsular rim and now the viscoelastic substance that is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is irrigated out first with Simco you can use whatever you want faster is probably the coaxial IA and now I'm using the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and irrigating it for summer time that irrigation removes the viscoelastic substance very nicely go behind the lens irrigate the capsular back and finally use irrigation and aspiration together to remove the viscoelastic substance yes if you clean the viscoelastic substance in this way what will happen is most of the time you will get a very clear anterior chamber next day there will be no rise of intraocular pressure cornea will be clear patient will be very happy and now is the time to close the case the paracentesis openings are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds I construct the main wound in such a way that it doesn't require any hydration most of the time 99% of the time and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber I do this in all of my cases and I get a very clear anterior chamber after four hours and nowadays the patients go home the same day after four hours after getting IOP checked up by a non-contact donometer. The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great competence.